Today we're looking at some of the best seeds in Minecraft to see which one's perfect for your next world. This first seed is for the player out there that plays games on peaceful mode. No challenge. You literally want your life to be handed to you and this is the seed for you. That's respawn and this is how long it takes you to get diamonds. Three, two, one. Hopefully I don't fall in lava. <laughs> Zero. Where is it? Right here, as you fall to the ground, literally from spawn, it's about a three second process to find diamonds. But not only are you starting with diamonds, you also have the entire ravine full of items. Also, we're in 1.17, I know. I'm a little bit advanced for you guys. But you have all of these ores in the wall, and you've got a cave over here, which guess what, my friends? There's a mine shaft in here with even more surprises inside. You literally could get everything you want probably within a couple seconds. It's actually unbelievable. Even some axolotls down here. Wow. But that's just one of many insane seeds Minecraft has to offer. Seeds with spawns and villages so crazy, you won't even believe they're real, like the following village seeds that we found through our research. This first village seed we're looking at is actually sad. It comes with a very sad story. This is an abandoned village where all the villagers look to have been killed. What are they killed from, you might be asking? Well that. They spawn next to a giant mansion and unfortunately, I think the story here is that these villagers were brutally murdered, their families killed, and children taken away from them and killed. But it's a good story. So if you're looking for a world with a good story set up, this is the one for you. Now the next village we're going to look at contains probably the weirdest, most unbelievable village spawn you're going to see in your entire life because it looks kind of normal except for the house in the sky. Until you pan a little bit to the right and realize it has probably the largest ravine I have ever seen in my entire life. The size of this thing is unbelievable. The amount of fun you could have from a lava pit like that below your evil base on top of a pillar is pretty darn high but that's not all right over here next to the side of it take a look at this a ruined portal next to the base next to the ravine honestly guys you cannot tell me you will ever find a spawn with a better base than that unless the next one is better which it just might be now if the last two villages weren't enough for you you're a maniac which means you're just like me this one might be perfect for you to play on you look around and you're gonna notice it's just a simple desert village and to be honest with you the desert biome kind of sucks all right no hate towards desert lovers but i don't like it here's one reason why you might like this one though boom right next to it a freaking desert pyramid but you know we wouldn't be including this if that's all it was sure it's cool but we can go even bigger and i'm gonna show you right now how we can go bigger then it's with that one another one another desert temple literally across the street from these guys i don't know if they built on some ancient holy site the egyptians built here but i feel like there's a little bit of bad luck if you're building on a site with two desert pyramids Meow. Subscribe to Lover Fella. But here's where it gets even crazier. Inside one of the desert temples, there's a glitch that Mojang released last year. And at the very bottom, inside of this chest, a stack of 64 di- I'm just kidding. I made that up. Put it in there, folks. Got him. There's no diamond blocks, but there is actually another secret that this world possesses. A secret that makes this seed even better for you village lovers out there like myself. You might look in the distance and think, oh, some beautiful mountains back there. It looks pretty good. And bang, another village right behind this one and another village right there. Village, village village pyramid pyramid i mean literally like could you just beat the game by just never leaving these three villages and another village there's four villages here guys you just can't beat it it's an unbelievable seed what if you're looking for a seed that's a one in 50 billion chance now that's what this one's gonna get you right here any guesses as to what this seed is no it's not the giant ravine that leads you all the way down to diamond that's not it although it is a nice addition it's the fact that every single villager is a blacksmith you're a blacksmith you're a blacksmith you're a blacksmith you're all blacksmiths you come in this village you're not a blacksmith they kill you all right this is another one. Oh my gosh they're literally everywhere this entire city is just designed for blacksmiths I mean, there's a few farmers that come in, but if for whatever reason you have a strong desire to have an entire city of blacksmiths, they'd kill each other. What are they doing? This seed would be perfect for you. Now, a lot of the villagers are kind of insane, but not as insane as some of these auto-generated monuments that we found in Minecraft, like this one, which you can see I just joined. And uh, what is that? Did we just spawn on top of a freaking stronghold? You literally dig down three times. There's already a stronghold here. You can find the end portal probably faster on this seed than any other seed in existence. In fact, if you know a faster seed, you tell me in the comments because I have not been able to find it. That hole that I dug is where you spawn here. Take a look at that. But if the stronghold's not enough for you, well, you have this giant ravine that goes all the way down to lava and bedrock where, of course, you can find all kinds of ores and die in lava. And I didn't even mention the fact that there's a whole entire village right above you. This is everything you could ever want. The only thing this is missing really is, uh, you know, another village that's right there. There was also a mine shaft right next to the stronghold, which is literally three feet away from spawn. So if you want to speed run the game and push your limits, this might be one of the best seeds to do it. Now, it wouldn't be an honest video if I didn't show you guys my secret overpowered seed. We found this one online. So it's not actually a secret. But we're revealing it now to you guys right here today. We're gonna start showing you in the distance. You've got the woodland mansion 
construction and a village right there to the left. But down below us, things go to an unbelievable cursed level. Because right here is a seemingly normal village with seemingly normal village people. What's so cursed about this act? You might be asking. In fact, I don't see anything weird except for a giant hole, a ravine. What could it lead to? Maybe a mine shaft, you might be thinking? No, it leads to a mine shaft and the uh, end of the game right here. Go into the end portal right here from underneath the village, which is pretty rare. It does have a mine shaft. Of course it does. Why would we show you a seed that doesn't have multiple villages, mine shafts, and end portals? The odds of this spawning is low. The exact number is unknown, but I'm assuming it's about this. I mean, there's really not a lot to dislike about the seed, but what we're going to show you guys next are what I call biome seeds. Seeds that disform and change and curse the biomes that you spawn in. Imagine this grassland, except everything's purple, now blue. None of that's possible, but what we show you will be so crazy, you might wish this was possible. Did that even make sense? This is truly a world record because it is the world's smallest ever discovered natural mess up biome. Look at this. It is in between a literal desert down here and this is actually classified as a mess of biome. But what's even crazier about this little tiny baby biome right here is that it actually managed to spawn with an entire pyramid inside of it. How crazy is that? But it doesn't stop there. This little oasis also contains a ruined portal. Now a little bit of it, right? I think the rest of it's underground, but this is probably one of the strangest things ever. I mean, just imagine Imagine playing, you're in the middle of a jungle, and suddenly you see this. If that doesn't look like some sort of ancient X marks to spot treasure, I don't know what is. So I'm glad that there is treasure here. What's even weirder is when you zoom out and look at this map from like a super big distance, you can see the mess that actually surrounds the jungle and then it surrounds this. It's so strange how this thing generated. <laughs> This episode Super Seed is brought to you by this number right here. This seed is insane. Starting off with the Ice Spike Village, a very cool village, but not even half of what this crazy seed has to offer. If we fly a couple feet away from this village, you're gonna notice that bang right there, we've got a mushroom island village. You don't see too many mushroom villages, especially mushroom biomes in general. Oh wait, is that a double mushroom biome village? It is guys, there's literally two right there. There's so much to take in here, it's hard to even talk. Ice village back there. You've got the village here, the pyramid to the left. You've got the freaking mushroom biome another village right there and if that's not enough there is a miniature mount ever spawned right over here next to these two villages you could climb on top of that freeze your little toesies off and, and build on top of it. i don't know what you're gonna make but you can make something on top of it honestly i've never seen a seed like this in my life i feel like the odds of this are, are in the negatives for this to ever happen you will probably never see a seed like this again keep watching until the end because we do have some of our crazier ones coming up but this one's good to write down now some of these biome seeds are super weird because minecraft can repeat things forever and this one contains an infinitely repeating cave now ours is a little bit weird because we're at actually 1.17 but as you can see it goes on and on forever but the odds of this happening are so unbelievably rare it is near impossible to actually find one of these on your own now the last category we're gonna look at and you better be finding a seed here folks because these are good are what i call the water themed worlds these are ones that take place in the water and create seeds so unbelievably cursed or overpowered that you're gonna have to see them to believe them the first of these cursed seeds contains an underwater ocean monument and it looks pretty cool i like it you know these are pretty sweet but as we come down on this one you've got connected to it in actually a pretty aesthetically pleasing way a ruined portal right off the side i mean honestly it just looks amazing Let's take a look at the next one though, because it makes this literally look like nothing. We've got this incredible looking underwater monument. It looks good, doesn't it? I love this. We can come here, we can have some fun. There's nothing weird about this at all. Absolutely nothing about this spawn is weird or unnatural. Matter of fact, let's take it down a little bit lower. What's in this little window? I, f I didn't realize I had windows. Let's take a peek inside. Oh, just one of these underwater. Yeah, that's completely normal, guys. The craziest seed ever. Look at this thing. It's unbelievable how cursed it is. I mean, honestly, the fact that something like this can even spawn just goes to show us how lucky we are to be alive, all right? This is something beautiful. The weirdest part is the water is not inside of this dungeon. So you can walk through the stronghold by yourself without any worries as long as you don't break anything. Because if you go outside... The water might start flooding in. This thing is just unbelievable, guys. What I really want to see, this is my challenge to you guys out there. Post it on my subreddit if you do it. Drain this sucker and let's see what it looks like with no water around it. That would be unbelievable. This next water seed is in Java Minecraft. One of my favorites because it's just simple and fun. You spawn right next to a ruined portal, but it's also like a shipwrecked island. I feel like you could tell a fun story with this one. A lot of times these are just like randomly crash in the ocean. Doesn't even really make a lot of sense. Finally, we get to see a shipwreck that's actually a real shipwreck and you get a ruined portal. It's like a win-win seed for us right here. There's also another spectacular feature of this seed, and it's the fact there's almost no land around you. It's just a jungle island. You literally spawn in a jungle, you get this little boat, and that's it. It's almost like the storyline where you crashed your boat, and now you've got to survive naked and afraid on this island. I think there's a lot of potential for this seed. Make it so that you can't leave the island. You got yourself a fun little game mode there, folks.
<laughs> what? This is the first seed today that I have spawned at, and it's appropriate because I literally just didn't even know what to say. What is this? It looks like a crater, like a meteor crashed into this wall, but it gets even stranger as you look down. <laughs> what is that? Apparently, there's a waterfall. Uh, what? Wait, what? Hold on. Are we underwater? Okay, so apparently a meteorite looks like it crashed into this wall. You've got some water flowing down. Obviously the stronghold here. Boy, this is weird. You actually start on one of the weirdest spots I've ever seen in my entire life. I've never seen like Minecraft worlds generate with just a cutoff wall and cursed glitch water like this. I mean, do you guys see that? It's actually not flowing. I want to place a block here to see if that updates it. Okay, so if you put a block next to it, it'll update it, but this is cool in its own because, like, there's not a lot of seeds that have water spawning like this. This one has, like, an immense amount of potential right here. This might be one of my favorites we've seen today. Now, guys, I want to show you the most beautiful and pretty seed we have ever seen. It's you! Guys, if you enjoyed today's video and want to see some more cool videos by us, click right here for the last video on this channel we made. You're gonna love it. Go ahead and check it out right now, and I'll see you tomorrow. Peace!